All right, so we learned all about the samurai stuff. Uh, we presented with any evidence. No, all right. Let's present with everything and see if he says anything about anything. No, nothing here. <clears throat> ah, the guitar case. That was Long's. I'm guessing you've seen the case before? It's pretty famous by now. It stands out because it holds THE bright red guitar. The bright red guitar. The Jammin' Ninja's signature item. But if the guitar is so important, how could he forget it for the award ceremony? That does seem a little strange. Nope, nothing there. Nope. What about this? Nope. So, I'm not sure if there's anything else that I can, uh... Ask him about besides maybe her. <clears throat> oh, hey, that's Miss Andrews. She's Matt's manager. Actually, I was interested in her for a little bit. Just a little. Hmm. So Mr. Powers likes this type of woman. What do you know about Miss Andrews? Well, see, here's the thing. I don't really know her, know her, you know. <laughs> huh? There's sort of a small rumor going around about her right now. A rumor? Yes, she has crabs. No. <laughs> that would be totally fucked up if the game was like, she has a horrendous STD. All right. Oh, if you're interested, I can give you a little bit of the details. He's so happy. He looks like a lion that just found his next meal. All right, let's ask him. The gossip on Adrian. Would you mind telling me about this gossip? Ah, so you're interested in it too. I figured you could be. Yeah. I have such a weakness for celebrity gossip too. Oh, really? You too, huh? Yeah, take a look at this. Looks like a tabloid Miss Oldbag would read. Alright, let's see here. Jammin' Midnight Rendezvous. To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A. Y you see now, don't you? What? You can stop pretending to be in the dark, Mr. Wright. Juan Carita didn't have a manager of his own. Which means, if we're talking about a certain manager with the initials AA... Adrian Andrews? Y yes exyactly This is big news. But, it seems kind of odd. Uh, excuse me. Ooh, that woman, Miss Andrews. Together with the biggest rival of her client... Oh, it's that wonderful thing that can only happen between two people. Mr. Powers looks so happy. Pearls is just following along, not having any idea as to why he's smiling. Well, like the saying goes, one man's garbage is another man's treasure. Magazine clipping has been added to the court record. Well, this is huge because now I can go present that. You notice they gave you a little insider can't I think they said, this looks like something Miss Oldbag would read. So obviously I need to present that to her. Let's check this. Superstar and an ultra hot mega secret love scandal. Reliable sources say that Juan Carita has been getting close to the mysterious and beautiful manager to the stars, Miss AA. Alright. Let's go back to the lobby and talk back to Old Bag again. Here we go. So, let's present a few things to her. First of all, I want to present the magazine clipping. Oh, she's clamming up. Please, anything would be helpful. Well then, how about I tell you my measurements? Oh no. She really doesn't like you, does she, Mr. Nick? I know, I know. So she's not gonna help me. Nope. Fuck. I get the feeling I have evidence I'm supposed to pre start presenting now, but I'm not sure what to do here. Uh, what was her, her memory lock? What's the first memory lap? Let's find out. What you witnessed. I'll be honest with you for now, let's see. I'll give you what you want. I wonder, if she, would this work if I give her the magazine clipping? Because if this doesn't work, I'm screwed. 
Huh. Shit. Hmm. I'm really debating doing this. Or, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe this is what she wants. An autograph. This is Juan's autograph, right? She would probably want this. I'm gonna save before I do anything now. Hold on. I think if I give her the autograph, she might start answering questions. Let me save up first, though. <clears throat> save the game. I'm gonna try the autograph first. Alright. Take that! Take that! I forgot how the Wiimote says it, too. Take that! Alright, skip all this. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, autograph. The, the, that's, that's Juan's autograph. Yes, it is. And, and it even says to my dearest Wendy on it. The, that's me, right? Right? Oh, um, my name is Wendy Oldbag, so that Wendy has to be me, right? Well, it may say Wendy. But somehow, I don't think Juan had this Wendy in mind when he signed it. Oh, please give it to me. Let me have it, please. Um, I can't let you have it just like that. Yes, yes, I know. Then how about an exchange? Aha! Wow, she must really want this autograph. My offer isn't good enough for you. Fine, Mr. Right, you win. Wendy old bag ready to open up her heart. All for my dearest Juan. Wow, it worked. Four locks. All right. Autograph was given to Wendy. Very nice. All right, what are you into? She's going to tell us. Sweet. What did she witness? I feel bad for you now. Huh? I tell you, I saw him that night. I saw him coming out of Juan's room. You're kidding. Oh, no. It was about ten minutes before Juan's body was discovered. It was just a coincidence. I was on my way to the toilet, minding my own business. And? Did you tell that to the police? Well, of course. I thought I could get a gift certificate or two out of it. Maybe more. Gift certificate? <laughs> I've been recruited again for that part at the trial. You know, the trial tomorrow. This time you're gonna get you're gonna get it. I'm gonna work hard to get your client pronounced guilty. But Mr. On Guard hasn't done anything bad. I don't care about details like that. I just know a dear poor Juan he did my dear poor Juan in, I just do. The yellow belly chicken. A yellow belly chicken? I wonder what that would look like. I trust my senses. I know when someone did something bad and I say he did it. That Mr. Ungard ever do to her to deserve this. Ah, Ungard's past. What did Mr. Ungard do to you to make you so. You don't know? That guy, he framed my wand. He created that scandal that plagued poor Juan. Mr. Nick! What is it? What's a scandal? Oh, uh, I'll tell you about that after we get home, okay? <laughs> Poor Juan, led astray by the vials of that vile temptress. Mr. Nick, what do vials and wild temptress mean? Ah. Uh, how about we just listen to what Miss Oldbag has to say for now, okay, Pearls? So, Miss Oldbag, who is this woman you're talking about? Adrian Andrews, of course. Who else? That guy he shoved the girl into Juan on purpose. His own manager? But why? I thought lawyers were smart. It was to create a scandal that make Juan lose face. That girl drove Juan into a scandal that dragged his reputation through the mud. Sounds like a pretty standard definition of a scandal to me. Why do you know about that anyway, Miss Oldbag? I'm one of Juan's biggest fans. I'm always out there gathering information. There's nothing I don't know. And do you have proof that Mr. On Guard did what you say he did? Next week's issue of a certain magazine says so. Of course, a tabloid. Next week? Doesn't that mean it's something that people don't know about yet? Why would Miss Oldbag have information like that? And where did she get it? 
<laughs> what the hell? Can we present this to her? Nope. Huh. Anything else? No, no, this is helping. I think she'll hate her if I present her. Oh, she won't even do that. Alright, so I guess that's it. So maybe now we should take the information about the scandal and go back to Adrian and see what she has to say. That's what at least what I'm thinking. There's nothing else to talk about, right? Oh, the criminal affairs department we could go to now too. Check that out. We should go there at some point too. guarantee it's Adrian Andrews that for her because remember it was the person who's the person she was doing it she was trying to find out about the answer is her she was trying to find out if she was really sleeping with Juan shit all right let me save here I gotta present Adrian Andrews to her. I'm gonna try it. Lotto, will you please answer my questions? On the night of the murder, why were you loitering around the victim's room? I told you, didn't I, for my scoop? The details of the scoop. That's not something I could tell you. An unpleasant type of photographer looking for a scoop. I'm going to say that you were looking into a scandal. Maybe that you were looking for a break of a huge story. And a fully scale between Juan Carita and this person. Aha! We got it. Yeah! Boom! This woman? She's Adrian Andrews, Man on Guard's manager. Huh. The Nickel Samurai's manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jammin' Ninja. It would be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? Boom! You're pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Lawyer. But you can't just make up any old thing and think it'll make the papers. You gotta have backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah, you gotta have that. That, what's it? News sauce? Oh, uh, you mean news source? That's it. So show me something that shows that Wanga has something with Miss Andrews. Here you go, I have it. The evidence. Boom! Magazine clipping. Ha <laughs> ha! This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid. Jammin' Midnight Rendezvous. To the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A. Ah! Mr. Carita didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Mr. Ongard's manager, Adrian Andrews. She has the initials A.A. You saw this article and then thought to take some pictures of them as proof. That's why you were looking around Mr. Carita's door last night. Wah! <laughs> Very nice. Unlock successful. Sweet, we got a whole bar back. Sweet. Alright, let's talk about the big scoop. <laughs> 